hello there and happy Motivational Monday to all of my Torians. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your Motivational Monday reading. I'm talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but anywhere in your chart. Taurus, I am talking to you, 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 and you. Set those intentions to have a great day every day and then go about creating space for only that, a great day. An amazing day, a peaceful day, an aligned day. You're only creating space for that and nothing else. All right, so let's go, Taurus. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Okay, Taurus, if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, that makes you very stable, responsible, very devoted, practical. Yes. Mm hmm. It also makes you very kind, understanding, determined, generous, and trustworthy, right? Who are you going to give your generosity to? We have the lover's card and we also have the fool card, right? Somebody may have felt foolish um, in love in the past. And I'm talking about agape love and eros love, not just uh, romantic love. We're not talking about just twin flame love, right? And you may have felt deeply disappointed. This is the lover's card and this is the fool card. We also have the six of swords. The King of Swords, mm -hmm. the Queen of Cups, and also the Eight of Cups. Yes. So we have perfect alignment here when it comes to your energy. But the thing that you have the highest percentage of is masculine energy in your cards, right? The highest percentage of masculine energy. This is about balance. Somebody is really tapping into their divine masculine energy moving forward. You all are receivers by default. So you're sending messages out to source, right? Remember today, Monday, we are still in new moon energy about to cross over into first quarter moon on tomorrow in Virgo, right? Yes. So Virgo is one of your sister signs. Both of you all are Virgo, Capricorn and um, Taurus are our earth signs right so i'm saying somebody while disappointed emotionally in some things you're sailing away from some things you could be sailing away from an aquarius gemini or libra they could have that somewhere in their chart but you're wiser now you're more knowledgeable now right and you have clarity of thought and you're ready to use your sword when necessary meaning cutting off negative thoughts cutting off um um um, conversations about them, cutting off anything that's going to keep you vibrating low in any way, shape, form, or fashion. It's not that you don't care. It's just that you're stepping into your own light. You're enlightened, but you're stepping into your own light, right? You, The person could even have um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in their chart. But again, emotionally, you or you could have it in your chart. You're stepping into your own light, right? Right? You actually have compassion for the situation, but you're stepping into your own light. You're just leaving just leaving it behind. You're not even engaging people who want to talk negatively about it. You're saying, let's just stop the conversation. I don't even want to hold space for that because there's too many other things that I want to create space for. Remember, when you set your intentions to have a great day, that includes no negative conversation, even from other people. Who may, it may on the surface appear like they're Team Taurus, but if they're really Team Taurus, they wouldn't be feeding you toxins. You got to remember that. If they're really on your team, they would not be feeding you toxins with, with negativity and low vibrating energy. Not at all. None whatsoever. So somebody has a fresh new start, new beginning. Somebody feels healed. They have their amethyst in hand like this. Amethyst can be light. And I also have some dark amethyst as well. But again, this is a this is a rose quartz or a, a love crystal or love stone. Um, this is for self-love. This is for forgiveness. This is for attracting new love if that's what you want. And so, and these really do have healing properties. You don't notice the other things out here. My other gemstones and crystals, again, I've been recharging those. Whenever at the end of, you know, my day, I remove all, I sit them out in the sun. I remove all the stale energy from, um, you know, that. But anyway, moving forward again, here we have the lover's card, which is attached to Gemini. We're not talking about a Gemini in terms of a person. Cause sometimes people get caught up in the sign. Well, I don't like this sign and I don't like that sign. I don't, you want to come away from that because again, Torians, you all are ruled by Venus, the, the planet of love and all those other wonderful things. Um, Gemini is ruled by Mercury, 
So you may have Gemini in your planet, I mean, in, in, excuse me, in your full birth chart or your natal chart, Taurus. So this is where you want to communicate to source and tell source, hey, I'm ready for a new start, a new beginning. But also you got to take action towards it and be optimistic, high vibrational. So again, you're as disappointed as you may be in your heart, you're wiser now. You have clarity of thought. Again, we can't control other people. It just is what it is. It really is. It really is. The sooner you realize you can't control another human being or you can't, you don't have any control. You don't have dominion over other human beings. We are not other people's gods. So, hey, if it's two different frequencies, they're on a frequency and you're on a different frequency. Are you going to create space for the static? I hope not. You got bigger things to do, like stepping into your own light and creating the life that you want, that you know you deserve, right? Queen of Pentacles. That's right. The energy of money is very attracted to you. It's very attracted to you, Taurus. So as disappointed as you may be in some people that the outcome of certain things didn't turn out the way you wanted it to be, again, are you going to create space for it anymore? I don't see you doing that. I see you taking that sword and severing ties with the depth of the emotions attached to it instead of feeling like I was burned by this person. You know what? I just know better. Now that I know better, I'm going to do better. And doing better is listening to your higher self. What did my higher self tell me about a situation? Don't touch it. Then don't touch it. I don't care how physically pleasing it seems to you. I don't care how, whatever the situation is. Physically pleasing. I don't care what you've heard about. Well, um, you only have one parent. You, I mean, you only have two parents. You only have one mom, one dad, or whatever the situation is. And you're supposed to do X, Y, and Z. Some things you or or an ex spouse or a person you felt like was your twin flame or whatever the situation is, I see somebody sailing away from it emotionally and saying, I don't I'm not I'm not touching it. No negative comments, hear no evil, see no evil, and speaking no evil about the situation. I'm moving on because I gotta create space for something else. Get back up on your throne. <laughs> Get back on your throne because the energy of money is very attracted to you. And here we have. Your dreams need a practical plan. That's what I'm talking about. The energy of money is very attracted to you and somebody is looking for you in terms of new love. For, that, for, this is only for people who want to be in a romantic relationship. I got I to gotta say that because some people are already in a relationship with their person. This is not for you to go out here and look for a brand new person. If you're in a happy, healthy relationship, don't create problems at home, please. But if you're interested in a new love, I'm seeing your twin flame trying to find you. How horrible would it be if your twin flame, you're sitting right across from your twin flame or on the phone with your twin flame and you're still weighed down by the emotions of somebody who hurt you. You're, you're, it's like you're bringing that person into a relationship and a potential twin flame relationship. Don't you think that twin flame, if they're on the same frequency as you are and they're at a higher frequency as you, they see it, they'll see it. They will sense it. When people are talking a little bit too much about their ex, <laughs> you're like, okay, this person is still in love with this person. They're not ready to date. That's the message it sends out, right? Or this person, some people don't even realize they're telling on their self by the, 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 what they focus on in conversation. Let's say a parent hurt you and that's, that's just dominating all conversation. You know, when I was raised, my parents, they were this and that and so on and so forth. That sounds very hurt because we have too many mental health professionals out here that people can go see to solve that. Why would you want to bring that into a relationship and then later on down the line say the person that you're in a relationship with was wearing a mask? Well, you dominated the conversation with how hurt you were. You didn't even give the person a chance to show you who they really were, right? So yeah, let's, let's stay focused. Let's stay focused. Let's pull some more cards before we close out your reading for today. Again, happy Motivational Monday. Like I said, lots of money is looking for you. And when I talk about the energy of money, we're not talking about coins and paper because we're moving towards a cashless society. And if you've read anything, you know that there's a coin shortage. When I talk about the energy of money, I'm talking about people with wealth all around you um, that, that source is planting all around you so that you can create the life that you know you deserve. Okay? Yeah. Fresh new start and a new beginning. It's going to happen in such a spontaneous, unique way. Um, you find in love and all of that, but it's because you had to finally sail away from something you were emotionally deeply disappointed in. Uh huh. So during this time, read some books. Read some books. 
Somebody better start reading some books on some financial planning. <laughs> Somebody better start because source is trying to send it your way. But if you still emotionally like can't let go of something, like, I mean, can't heal from something, it's time to really seek some professional help. I'm serious because that's giving somebody way too much power. If it's your emotions between you and the energy of money trying to come your way, I'd be on the phone today trying to find a a uh, a um a psychologist to sit down and talk to. Like, why can't I just why can't I just heal from this? Like, I really need some I need some tools that's going to help me heal from this. Yeah, here we have I am a pioneer. A lot of you all are going to be the first in your families to do a lot of things, right? Um. And again, the sooner you release yourself from that emotion, the quicker you're going to be the first in your family to do some things. Here we have independence and self-sufficiency um, are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work and aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life you desire. That's right. I'm telling you, some of you all are going to be the first ones in your family, not only to be wealthy, but I'm talking about wealthy in all areas of your life, including being in happy, healthy, whole, grounded, and rooted relationships. We're not talking about people who get married and they really can't stand each other. They just stand married for the kids or they just stand married for the appearance sake or we built this beautiful life together. Out, you know, Our house is nice. We live in a nice neighborhood and all this, but we can't stand each other, right? Some of you all are going to be the first people in your family that actually with somebody who actually really truly loves each other right where you all really got each other's backs i'm talking about serious twin flame energy where you're showing other people that's coming behind you this is really what you know self-love looks like and this is really what love looks like when you're with another person who loves themselves that's what i have for you and i'll see you in a couple of days bye